Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Tech. This is Bilal Khabib. Today I'm going to tell you uh, how to configure RAID 5 in HP Server ProLiant. Uh, first of all, uh, you will press in the beginning uh, F5 to bring this uh, screen, HP Intelligent Provision. Uh, here are different models. Uh, you can see here are different models. You, you can configure and uh, diagnose support for the following smart arrays, dynamic smart array. So I am today going to tell you how to configure RAID 5 in the HP server. After press F5, you can you will see the screen. Here we have one server HP ProLiant, and here is a array collection. I will click on smart array, and then configure and diagnose. I will click on configure. here we go it's showing the modify controller setting advanced controller setting clear configuration okay fine i will here is array i will click on array then this is we have array array one logical drive i will delete this yes finish now I will start create array. Here you can see the sign create array. I will click on create array. Select all three. I have three hard drives there. Uh, 300 GB, 300 GB, 300 GB. Uh, sort by size. Okay. Select all three. Then I will click create array. Then I will select here RAID 5. The default. Uh, here is RAID 0, RAID 1. ADM and RAID 5. I will select RAID 5. Strip size, full strip size. Strip size is default to 56. I will leave it as it is. The sectors track 32. Size maximum size. Partial initialize method default online. Okay, I will say. We will see the other option. Caching enable. Create logical drive. Okay, here we go. The status is okay. Use space 838 GB 100%. Total usable 838. Actually, logical drive, one logical drive, physical drives. These are device pass smart array. Set finish. We are finished. So now the array has been created. Uh, now I will do what we will boot from uh, server 2008 and we will install it. I will going to uh, the RAID 5 configuration process is done. Uh, this is a, a process very easy uh, if you, anyone want to install server 2008 or any server they can boot from uh, memory disk or optical drive uh, you can deploy your operating system uh, so for the now goodbye if you like my video please give me a feedback and subscribe my channel thank you very much